Boa noite, guys. Today I'm embarking on an exciting adventure here in the heart of the favela Vigigal as I'll be exploring the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu culture here and practicing with some of the best practitioners here in this region. So join me today as I put on a gi for the first time in six months. Most of the favelas here in Rio de Janeiro are on hills. So the first thing I need to do is find a motor taxi that will take me up, which usually costs around a dollar. So this academy that I'm going to today is actually at the top of the shopping mall. The shopping mall is on the first floor. And it's uh, four floors in total, I believe. But this has an amazing view of the favela all around it. One important thing to note is that the school that I'm visiting was started as a social project by a local Henzo Gracie black belt to help the kids here in need. As I arrived, the kids' class was ending, so this was the aftermath. Hey guys, so we're here at the academy, and I thought it was going to be a gi class, but it turns out it's no gi, so the six month streak of not having put on a gi remains unbeaten. So my first role of the night was with a competition brown belt named Walter, who was originally from Sao Paulo. When we started rolling, the first thing I noticed was his farm restraint. He felt strong as shit. Whenever I'm visiting a new school, I like to take things easy while I roll, especially if I'm visiting a new country. So for me, these rounds tonight were all going to be about re-guarding, basically just focusing on my guard retention from bottom. So right here, Walter almost passes my guard. I end up turtling up to prevent the guard pass. Walter then traps one of my legs to try to prevent me from turtling. I end up off balancing Walter and end up dumping him. Come on. Unfortunately, one thing I forgot about training in Brazil is Brazilians don't see weight. You know how some people claim they don't see color, but they're the ones that bring up race all the time? Well, Brazilians, while training, don't see weight. Say, for example, I'm 145 pounds. Walter here is probably around 175 pounds. But, as you can see, once I swept him, he started rolling as if he was competing at Worlds. So right here, they start yelling 30 seconds left in the round. And in my mind, I've had enough of Walter going hard. So basically, in my mind, I'm going to take him down and humiliate him. And that's exactly what I did. I end up on top, and I end the round on a positive note. Right before the round end, Walter ends up sweeping me onto the concrete, and my head hits the floor. This part is up to interpretation, but it looks to me like Walter glances at the camera and realizes this was a shameful act. My second roll of the day is against a purple belt. And as you can see, he goes guns blazing. I epically fail my triangle attempt and end up turtling up to prevent a guard pass. And then I end up getting triangled myself. Well, not really. I ended up hanging out in this triangle for around two minutes. Long enough for his legs to gas out. I'm not sure what the consensus on heel hooks here in Brazil is yet. So basically I ended up using this position to try to get a guard pass. But he ends up muscling through and ends up sweeping me. And we end up in this wild scramble. I end up in north-south position, but the remainder of this position, it looked like we were 69ing, so I just, I'm skipping forward. Olha, 
They start yelling out 10 seconds left. And normally I'm really good at finishing singles, but his unconventional movement patterns and the weight disparity just fucked me up. Overall, this was a pretty fun role. It was a hard role, but it was without ego. My last role of the night was with a blue belt in my weight class. It was pretty uneventful. We flowed. It was pretty chill. One quick note I want to add is that this school is raising funds to send some of the kids to compete in Sao Paulo. So if you guys want, there's a link in my description. Please feel free to donate. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed it.